This is a heartbreaking and an awe-inspiring story of Augusto and Michaela Odone, showing us the depths of courage and imagination that people can summon when they must. Just imagine this. When doctors urge a dying patient to have patience while research continues into the cure for the disease, what they're essentially saying is, please be patient enough to wait until after your death while we work on this. Not much consolation, is it? Especially when the patient happens to be their own little boy stricken in the dawn of life. When the Odone's child, Lorenzo, was damaged with adrenoleukodystrophy, ALD for short, it was a death sentence. Failing to find a doctor or a cure capable of treating their young son's rare disease, the Odones amazingly did not choose to give up but sought to pursue a cure on their own. Neither of the Odones had trained as a scientist. He was a World Bank economist and she a linguist. They did not want to lose their child. They took on the medical establishment and set about finding a cure. An amazing resolve against all odds. From there on, started an incessant, sleepless and a nerve-wracking journey, a race against time, meeting doctors, researching, doing everything that it takes to find the cure. They finally discovered what caused it, persisted and finally hit upon a therapy involving adding a certain kind of an oil extract isolated from rapeseed oil and olive oil to their son's diet. Sadly for the donors, the disease had already set in their own son. The damage could not be reversed and the son died at the age of 30. But outliving every doctor's prediction that he only had a few years left to live. This oil today, known as Lorenzo's oil, named after Odone's son, has cured many boys who would have otherwise succumbed to ALD.